We've heard it all our lives. Every singer must sing from the diaphragm. If you want to be a good singer, you have to sing with your diaphragm. Squeeze your diaphragm. But how do we sing with our diaphragm? Often when singers try hard to sing with their diaphragm, they tighten their tummy muscles, which causes constriction in the throat, strain, pain, and singing out of tune. All right, sing with the diaphragm. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. What if I told you that it's impossible to sing with or from your diaphragm? The diaphragm is active when you inhale. It contracts and moves down, creating a larger space in your chest cavity and decreasing the air pressure in your lungs, signaling for your lungs to take in air. This is the main work of the diaphragm and you're not singing while it's happening. When you exhale, which is what you're doing when you're singing, the diaphragm is inactive. It releases and moves up into its resting place. While you're singing, the main muscles that are at work are your abdominal and ribcage muscles. So when you're singing, your diaphragm kicks back, relaxes, and is having a margarita on the beach, which is why saying singing from the diaphragm or with the diaphragm is quite the myth. So you mean I've been lied to my whole life? Well, while you don't sing with or from your diaphragm, the diaphragm still plays a very important role during the inhale phase. And your job is to help it do its job well by making sure that your breath is low so that the diaphragm can move down freely into the abdominal space. So how do I keep my breath low? A low breath is one that expands the tummy and the rib cage when you inhale without recruiting the muscles in the chest, neck and shoulders to help because that causes more tension. Here's how to do it. Step one, practice your low breathing lying down. Lie down and place your hands on your tummy and take a calm breath in for four counts. One, two, three, four. And then hiss it out on eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When you lie down, your abdominal muscles can't get tight easily, which means that the diaphragm can move down more freely into the abdominal space and do its job while you inhale. Step two, replicate the same feeling standing up. So hands on tummy and then breathe it in for four. One, two, three, four, and now hiss it out for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that you understand how the inhale and the exhale is supposed to work, we're adding in another step, and that is to suspend your breath and open your throat. Here's how to do it. Pretend you've hit the pause button on yourself and suspend your breath in this low breath position while opening your mouth as if you were about to sing a lovely open ah, but don't sing, just like this. Step four, sing a lovely ah on a comfortable chest voice note for eight counts, like this. Ah. So in summary, the full exercise goes like this. Low breath in for four counts, open suspend for four counts, then sing out on an R for eight counts. Let's do it together. In, two, three, four, open suspend, two, three, four, and sing, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Songbird, I am so glad that I got to bust the singing with the diaphragm myth today. And if you want the full extended version of today's video customized to male and female range, you can check it out for free now by taking the seven day free trial of the Songbird Tree Vocal Academy. Just click on the link below now. And now it's time for you to learn about the top three most common singing mistakes and how to fix it with this video here. And Songbird, you know, I'm always believing in you. So why don't you get out there, get grounded, take flight and sing.